Hey everyone, uh, John asked me to record a quick video and share instructions on how to properly um, rotate an image that you plan to upload to a listing and also if you want to resize an image. So that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, first things first, you're going to go to uh, this website called pixlr.com. It is a free photo editor. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click open image and you're going to select the image that you've got downloaded to your computer or images. So we'll open that. And what you notice here is it opened up in the screen. Uh, so first we want to rotate this image. So we're just going to select image, rotate image, rotate left. And now we've got the image facing the right way. Uh, that way when you upload it to the Tutland website, for your listing, it won't show up crooked. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the image isn't too large. Uh, that could cause the website to load slowly and your listing to load slowly, which we don't want. Uh, so we'll, again, we'll click image, image size, uh, and generally I will reduce it by about a fourth or 75%. So in this case, let's just try 750 there. Uh, you notice it automatically adjusts the height because we've got constrained proportions checked, which we do want. So we'll click apply and the image is sized down, but it'll still look great on the internet. Uh, so last thing we'll do here is we're going to click uh, save and here you can rename the file. Uh, we're going to want to save it as a JPEG and here it will give you a estimated file size. So you'll notice right now our estimated file size is 423 kilobytes. Uh, we want to get that as close as we can to about 150. So we'll move it to low. Uh, that'll get it to 179 kilobytes. Uh, we'll click download and our new file has been uh, resized and rotated. So now that when you upload it to the Tutland website, uh, it'll be facing the right way and it'll be the correct size. I'll also include step-by-step uh, -step instructions with screenshots. Uh, thanks for your time.